Hello friends, would you like to lose weight? Burn up belly fat, reduce joint pain in your body and brain fog, and also get rid of those wrinkles and eye bags and have nice thick fluffy hair again. Did you realize that your body inside of your cells, inside of the mitochondria, the little energy producing factories in our cells, exist a mechanism to do all of these wonderful things for you. It's like you're Dorothy and we have the little red slippers on. We just didn't know how to use them. I feel like I'm a really good person to help you navigate because I've been doing it nonstop for seven years and the results have just been beyond amazing. If you are new to this channel, I am a health and longevity coach, personal trainer in the Nashville area. But if you would help me by hitting that subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification bell. I do need to get my cat to the dentist. He's got some little tooth decay, tooth decay back there. So if you would do this, it would just help me and Yuki tremendously. Alrighty. So I do release a video a week to help people lose weight and also talk about all sorts of different things that are related with the aging process and how we can look and feel our best at any age. Like I said, I'll be 57 this year. So I'm gonna tell you a lot about how intermittent fasting works. Remember, I am a teacher. I have taught the middle grades for the majority of the last 23 years, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And I'm also going to kind of tell you my own personal story, how it's worked for me. And then I'm gonna give you some tips. To Alrighty, so let's start with my personal story. I did intermittent fasting uh, about seven years ago when I turned 50. I had, just like we all do, I was going through hormonal changes and I was putting on that five pounds a year starting about my early 40s. So I'd always been kind of like a mesomorph athletic type of person and never really had a weight problem. And then all of a sudden I was up to, for me, 160, which is quite heavy for me. And also it was just lovely the way it was all in the belly. If I was pregnant, it was really embarrassing. So, you know, I embarked on that typical journey of some sort of show that was really popular a while ago. We won't name that show, but anyhow, it prescribed lots of aerobic exercise and a low calorie, kind of a high sugary, high carb diet and constant grazing. <laughs> yeah, low fat. It didn't work. <laughs> I just put more and more weight on and was just utterly discouraged and so hangry. I was eating and grazing all day long and I was only eating 900 calories a day and training for a half marathon. So I was running like hours on the weekends. Of course, I was hitting the food bar on the way because <laughs> that just running makes you insanely hungry. <laughs> So anyhow, I had to take matters in my own hand. My life was just kind of falling apart. It was just sad. And I tried a keto diet, probably not as healthy as I do now I do Mediterranean keto. So click on my video for how to start on the Mediterranean keto diet. That's definitely the best way to go. And then when that kind of plateaued a little bit, you know, I lost, I wanted to lose 40 pounds. I lost 20 and I was just stopped. I'm like, okay, I'm going to try this fasting. And that changed my life. I mean, it wasn't just that I lose all the weight. Yeah, I actually got all the way down to 125, which was amazing and wonderful. I'm not quite to 125 right now, get there soon. But it also just kind of changed my life. Now, it took a while, friends. It took a while. Like you can see the pictures from before. It's not like I noticed all of a sudden, dang, those wrinkles are gone. <laughs> no, I did not realize that. It really took just looking at pictures over time and i'm just like anybody else i delete them if pictures don't look good so there's probably even so many more pictures where i literally look at my age of 57 i look better than when i was 37. and so i definitely doing so much research on intermittent fasting and how it reverses the aging process through the process of autophagy i was like wow you know maybe there is something to this <laughs> There's got to be. I'm too broke to afford plastic surgery. So it definitely was not plastic surgery or Botox or fillers and such. That wasn't it. But I do have an amazing video called Better Than Botox, and that has 
also done amazing things for like the eye bags and wrinkles underneath my eyes. So do click on that video. Through that process of intermittent fasting, I also started to not just lose that belly fat, my brain, kind of like that crazy movie from the 80s, Cocoon, where I felt alive again. I was able to change my life. I lived in a small town, kind of forced to live there through a divorce, and I made a move to the bigger city of Nashville. I remodeled my house by myself, sold it, started a food blog, caseysketo.com, lots of yummy, delicious, healthy recipes, and it is ad free. And then I started a YouTube channel two years ago, and it's grown ever since. And now it's my big challenge, you know, transitioning to a new career, but I know I can do it because I've done all those other things. So in this process, after I fasted for about a couple of weeks, I also realized that I was driving to work, that my brain fog was gone. Colors were brighter. Ideas were coming to my mind that I had never had before. And I'm like, wow, I just literally feel like a new human being. So I want to share my story. I want to share this with the world and how amazing this can be. And of course, I'm going to preface this as we always with medical disclaimer. I only do 16-8. Occasionally, on rare occasions, and it's just because I forgot my lunch at home, <laughs> have I done a 24-hour fast. I personally do not recommend longer than 24-hour fast. We're going to tell a story of how human beings have existed irregardless of your religious belief. We can say 10,000 years, we can say 200,000 years, whichever one you want to believe. I think more towards the 200,000. But human beings have been on this planet long enough to pretty much destroy it, but really not that long compared to all the other animals and dinosaurs and such. But we only got out of hunting, hunting and gathering about 10,000 years ago. So before that we would hunt, the men would hunt, fish, the women would gather. And actually the women supplied 90% of the food source while having the babies and building the shelter. Yeah, not surprising. But that protein was super important. Now, back in our ancestors' day, people weren't going for weeks without food, that'd be very unusual, but you could definitely go for a day or two, but you most likely had a meal, maybe two meals a day. That would be a lucky human if you had two meals a day. And that's what our bodies were adjusted for. The survival of the human species depended upon us be a, to be able to survive on very low quantities of food during times of famine. And then during times of feast, we would store fat and then we would burn that fat during the times of leanness. And also, if you were hunting or gathering or taking care of the children and trying to gather up food for the tribe, you had to be extra strong and extra smart to be able to do that. So unfortunately, now we have like Kroger where you walk in and there's just like 75% of the food is processed, has no nutrition, and we have food and raise all day long, a little healthy snacks. But that's not what our body needs. Because every time we eat, even if it's just a 100 calorie almond pack, you are releasing insulin. Insulin, yes, 12% of the US population has diabetes too. And this is a debilitating, horrendous disease. You can get your leg amputated, you can go blind, it can cause heart attacks. It is horrible. So we were simply never, ever met to have such an abundant supply of food and to be basically eating and snacking and grazing all day long, and particularly on the type of food that we're eating and snacking and grazing on all day long. So if you want to reverse that process, you simply start intermittent fasting. Now, you want to do your intermittent fasting through the night because that is when our cells repair themselves. So your typical intermittent fasting would be to break your fast at noon. Now, if you would like to lose more weight, you can try breaking your fast at one or two or three, or maybe even occasionally once a week, try four. That's what works for me. I still, at this point, I'm maintaining. I'm 135, but I'm bodybuilding, so that's probably just right. I'm still, as long as I stay at a 26 inch waist and a size four to six, you want to have 
a highly nutritious diet. So I definitely recommend that you click on to my Mediterranean Keto Diet Plan. It's super, super important. So this is not hard to do. I recommend eating no more than two and a half meals a day. I love people that can eat just one meal a day. And if you are one of those people, that's probably a lot better for you. After seven years of fasting, my stomach has shrunk so much. I can't eat a lot at one time and I would not get my proper nutrition in one meal. And that may happen to you. You know, I've been able to maintain this weight loss. Yes, we have people all over the internet, all over. They lose weight and they maintain it. Well, you don't see that video where they regain the weight and such. Like if you stop the diabetes drug, Ozempic, you immediately regain all that weight. You've been paying all that money and ejecting your stomach. But no, I've maintained this weight loss and I've practiced intermittent fasting every single day, consistently for seven years. I've never had a problem. I do not get hungry. I do not. Yes, the first month I got hungry, but I haven't gotten hungry since. My whole body has changed. I'm a lot more muscular than I used to be. And then I started noticing that my wrinkles and such were beginning to disappear. So lots of an amazing effect. The process was discovered through the Nobel Prize winning Japanese scientist in 2016. And he discovered that when we fast, we are going through autophagy. And so basically our cells are looking for some extra food, things to eat to sustain us through this time where we're not eating. And so they clean up the lysosomes, think of a lysa. They get that garbage, that replications of things that we don't need. It could be a virus. It could be things that are just bad for our cells or maybe even bad cells like cancer cells. And it wraps them up in a membrane. And it gobbles them up with like this Lysol-like enzyme. I'm just trying to keep this so simple. <laughs> Science teachers were, I'm sure, just shaking their head right now. And it wraps them up in the membrane and then it becomes back. Part of the cell recycles into the cytoplasm. So this wonderful recycling helps reverse the aging process. Your cells have a way of cleaning themselves up through this process. Now also, you can encourage this process through ketosis, eating a low carb low carbohydrate diet and also through resistance training so or you give you like me and do all three i do a low carb diet i do intermittent fasting and then i do resistance training so i just do all three so that is how intermittent fasting works when your liver has a lot of fat and has a lot of glycogen it's going to take a couple weeks to burn all that off through eating a healthy, nutritious diet and just stick into that two and a half meals a day. So do that first, maybe three weeks, maybe even a month. Then you can do your intermittent fasting and you will find that it's very easy peasy, especially if you've gotten yourself on a good, clean diet. Now you would never want to combine intermittent fasting with a processed food diet. That would just be stupid and it's going to not help you whatsoever. So now if you struggle when you very, very first start, what do I do during the morning time to help me through my intermittent fasting? Or even if I were to get hungry before I ate my dinner. So the best thing that you can do is water. But just keep drinking water. You definitely, maybe midday, want to take some electrolytes. I like these from Zeal. It's got B vitamins, it's got zinc, it's got potassium just the perfect amount of everything. And this is gonna give you a little bit of energy midday. So this is gonna really help with that fasting process. If you just feel like you need a little pick me up, um, a little chicken bouillon, that's sodium in it. As long as you don't have problems with sodium, like high blood pressure, this can be wonderful to quell hunger, to bring that hunger pains down. The same with miso soup. And these are practically no calories, like 20 calories. I do drink coffee in the morning. And then in the winter, I've got this nice little cup of hot tea. I drink about three cups of hot tea. Drinking tea, ginger tea, particularly fennel tea. Let me like to see that fennel tea. It's a magical tea that's been used for about 3,000 years and it will actually reduce the growling of your stomach and the stomach cramps. So that is my 
quick and easy a guide to intermittent fasting. I hope you found this video so helpful. Literally, intermittent fasting has literally just completely changed my life. I just never could have imagined seven years ago that I would be sitting here in a beautiful townhouse in Nashville with an amazing group of friends, transitioning to a new career, personal trainer, YouTube creator. I just can't describe how much my life has changed in a positive direction. It wasn't just the losing weight. It was like changing my mindset. So I hope, hope, hope this helps you. If Put in the comments below. I love comments, friends. Put some comments, any struggling stop points that you have had with intermittent fasting or things that you'd like for me to talk about in upcoming videos. And thank you, thank you so much, so much for your support. It has just made a difference in my life. So really love you guys and I appreciate you so much. But please watch my next video. It's been really popular. I think it's been one of my most popular videos so far. And it's how to reduce your appetite. I have about 12 different things you can do to reduce your appetite. I named a few. And then also what's going to increase your appetite. And it's really important to know because this video is gonna help you lose weight and burn that belly fat. Bye bye.